Okay, this is Hamster Care Part 2. Um, now I'm going to talk about some of the stuff that you need to put in your hamster cage other than just buying the cage. Um, first thing, which is probably one of the most important, is your bedding. This is the brand of bedding. Well, this is one of the types of brand of bedding you can get. This is All Living Things um, Paper Pet Bedding. It's recycled paper bedding. Um, I personally recommend only using some sort of paper bedding. I mean, there's lots of different brands. All Living Things, there's um, um, Carefresh, there's so many others. Those are just the two that I mostly recommend and that are locally found at my pet store. Um, I don't like using any type of wood shaved bedding because I just don't think it's very good. Um, next, another very important, oh, also when you put your bedding, you only really have to change it once a month. I mean, depending also on the size of cage you have and how many hamsters you have in your cage. With my one siren hamster in this cage, I only change it once a month and I spot clean it about once a week. Which, for those who don't know, it means your hamster will mostly go to the bathroom in one spot. So you only really have to once a week scoop out the bedding in that one spot and put fresh bedding there instead of fully changing out all of it. Um, next. Oh, also, you can put um, newspaper at the bottom to help make cleanup easier. Um, I use magazines because I buy a lot of magazines, so I use papered magazines. <coughs> um, another thing is a wheel, which this is Baby Peter's wheel right here. Hamsters love to run on a wheel, especially if you your hamster is up all night, which most of them are. Um, Baby Pete is modeling the wheel for us. Um, when you get a wheel, you should get an all-plastic wheel, which doesn't sound like it would be nice if, oh, your hamster will chew on it. My hamster does not chew on her wheel at all, but you don't want to get the ones with the wires in it because their feet can get stuck in it. I just don't recommend them. And also, I think the plastic ones are quieter. Okay, um, next on your list of things you will need is a water bottle. This is a, I believe, an 8-ounce water bottle. You don't need to get a huge water bottle. They will only likely drink a couple tablespoons of water out of this a day. So I only fill mine halfway up, and I completely change the water out every other day. Some people say every day. I think every other day works fine for my hamster because it only drinks a little bit, and it's not even half gone after that. I just think changing it every other day works better, it's less of a hassle, and it also keeps your bottle clean. So, <clears throat> it's just when I change it every other day, I scrub it out. I mean, hot water, really scrub it out. Next thing is food bowls. I'm going to close this. It's kind of in the way now. Okay. These are the two food bowls. This food bowl came with the cage. This food bowl I bought separate for about um, 75 cents. So these are just two ounce food bowls. This this is two ounce. This is three ounce. <coughs> um, to keep in mind that food should always be available to your hamster. They're not like guinea pigs that you should just give it to them at a certain time, because you know hamsters are going to be up all night. So taking food away from them when they're awake would not be smart. Um, next is food. This is the container I keep PETA's food in. This is the All Living Things Hamster Fortified Mix. I might be changing it to like a Oxbow mix. <coughs> if you use a, the Katie brand mix, they have two different kinds. They have a All Natural Fortified brand and then they have a Fiesta brand. Now, most people think Fiesta brand, is, it's more fun, it has more stuff in it that your hamster will like. You really shouldn't do that because then they'll only pick out the parts that they want to eat and not the parts that they should eat. Another thing, I have this. This is a little medicine scooper. It does four teaspoons. <coughs> so, that is about how much your hamster will need a day. So, that's really it. 
That's all I really give her every day, though. And this is her main food bowl. This is her veggie food bowl. So, and look, she knows. She's like, I'm ready. Where is it? So, that is what I use. Whatever brand you use is normally pretty fine. As long as it's, there will be mixes. You're not going to find just pellets. There is mixes of, like, seeds and corn and pellets. It's just you don't want it to be too colorful. Everything in there is about, you know, a brown and yellowish color. You don't want it to look like a rainbow. That's not what it's supposed to look like. So next, um, I think I'll end on this video because it's going on six minutes. The next video is going to be about the fun stuff you can put in your cage, not exactly necessary things. So please leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.